Hi, my name is Mohammed Al Hashmi, and I am a student from Newcastle University. I was unable to make it to the InterGeo event, so I prepared this presentation to show you my research project, which was about automating the detection of oil spills from Sentinel-1 imagery using deep learning. In this presentation, I will firstly cover why it's important to detect oil spills. Then, I will show you the methodology and results of my project, and finally, the contributions and future directions of my research. So, this is an image of my nephew next to a beautiful 100-year-old sea turtle, and this is in a turtle reserve in Oman. Now, if we imagine a situation where an oil spill happened, now this would cause significant environmental damage because the oil may get inside the marine mammals and damage their respiratory system. Another consequence would be that oil spills may contaminate shorelines, which would affect tourism. So what is the solution? Now the ideal solution would be to prevent oil spills from happening in the first place. However, what if we can't do that? Then our second best solution would be to develop an automated detection system that will enable us to respond to oil spills in a timely manner and also allow us to track the progress of the oil spill over time. And this is exactly the aim of my project, which is to develop this automated detection system. And my project is an example of how we can use geospatial data to help tackle the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals 6 and Goal 14. Now, one of the methods that we can use to detect oil spills is by using synthetic aperture radar images. In SAR imagery, oil spills will have lower pixel values compared to the surrounding and oil-free pix oil pixel values. As for my dataset, I collected 67 Sentinel-1 oil spill images from various locations around the world. I then had to increase my training data because deep learning models like it when they have lots of training data. So I used four different data augmentation techniques, which are horizontal flipping, vertical flipping, rotation, and transposition of images. I then built my deep learning models, which were based on unit and deep lab architectures. And their architectures can be seen in the following in this diagram. At the same time that I built my deep learning model, Esri released their own oil spill detection model. So I used this to compare the results of my deep learning model compared to Esri's model. And if we focus on the final two columns to the right, we can see that my model made predictions that are much closer to the original image compared to Esri's model. That means that my model had better performance than Esri's oil spill detection model. So what are the contributions of my research? I basically used freely available uh, Sentinel-1 satellite imagery and also uh, freely available and open source uh, tools such as Python. I also investigated the effects of data augmentation and in the future I look forward to incorporating optical remote sensing and uh, sea surface temperature data to help rule out localites. That's it for me and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your evening.